My name's Alistair Black. Uh, I'm from Wessex Archaeology. We've been asked to come down here and carry out a geophysical survey on top of what I'm standing, which is a target that, which was built in World War II for testing bombs. Um, basically, we're, we're using a technique called ERT, which measures the resistance of the soil uh, by passing a very small electrical current through the, through the ground. Uh, and the wider the probes that the current passes between are the deeper we can see. So we can see up to 15 meters below the surface of the, of the soil, hopefully. And we're hopefully mapping the, the whole structure and seeing what condition it is, because it's been, it was reburied over uh, at the end of the Second World War. I'm Henry Cole, I'm a volunteer ranger with the Forestry Commission and for the Commission I've been looking into a lot of the military history of the forest, mainly the airfields and the bombing range for about the last, oh, I don't know, six or seven years. Um, I've always been fascinated by the submarine pens because it never quite rang true that that's what they were, so I managed to find all the um, test records and construction details in the National Archives that actually identified it as the first full-size um, test construction for a bomb-resistant air raid shelter to house about 200-250 people. Well, um, well, hopefully we should be able to create a a map of the structure and all the internal uh, parts of the structure and whether or not it's been filled in uh, and the condition of the top because some bombs did land on the structure uh, and we'll then pass this information to the, the National Park Authority uh, to then go forward and, and they can then make up their mind what they, they want to do in the future with the, the survey.